Hey, what's going on everyone? Wanted to do another quick update from this video that I made. Uh, so last year when the M1 MacBook Airs were released, I was testing out the external displays and I showcased you know, what was notated by Apple, but you know, not confirmed by people was that you can't actually physically plug in two uh, display link monitors or, or you can't do display link, but you can't do two like display port or HDMI. So I wanted to follow up on the M1 Max uh, because it now comes with an HDMI port. As you can see, you are able to natively drive two monitors, but I will say that there is some kind of issue going on. Um, I believe it's due to like resolutions and frames per second or refresh rate. So natively, um, you know, the previous videos I made, I was in uh, not my typical office, so I'm back in Atlanta. And what I use to drive is I have a 1080p monitor and a 1440p monitor. Um, and so with this device, it's actually a gaming monitor, but you can see here that it's stuck at 60 hertz per second. And this one is also driving at 1080p, 60 hertz per second. Now I could do the 1440p. I actually prefer on Mac OS since they don't have great scaling to do 1080p, that's just my preference. But what I do like is 144 frames per second. All right, so I've disconnected the monitor um, and actually QuickTime that I've now used as a, uh, I prefer editing content on, I actually stopped my recording as soon as I unplugged. So I've switched over to OBS um, so I don't get an interruption here. Um, but you can see here that now the 144 frames per uh, or hertz is able to successfully be chosen. And I think if I choose all settings, no, it still doesn't let me do that. Um, so I was playing around with it. I was thinking like maybe it's because it can't drive um, certain hertz or whatnot. I think ultimately maybe it's just a little bit of buggy software. Maybe there will be a patch or something um, because I definitely was expecting at least to be able to drive, you know, I'm not even pushing 1440p, I'm pushing 1080p and I'm still getting locked at 60 hertz when I reconnect. Hopefully OBS doesn't stop it as well, um, but reconnecting now, um, hopefully it pops up. And that was a, bug, I guess, or something. I'm unable to select 144 hertz on my gaming monitor. So I don't know if you guys, like, I, I do technically have another monitor that's 144 hertz, but I left that one also in Augusta. So um, the one I was playing with was the Predator uh, 27 inch, and then I have two of these 24 inches, but I left one with my brother. Um, but I have <laughs> yet another monitor. But I just wanted to showcase, um, you know, Something's going on here. Um, could influence someone's f a future buying decision if you don't want, um, you know, some of these bugginess, or you're expecting to be able to drive, you know, 1440 hertz on both of your monitors that you purchased. Something's up with the M1 Max, and I showcased in last year's video um, with a 15 inch. You don't have this problem. You could drive, you know, whatever you want, 1440p at the uh, the hertz that you want. So um, just a uh, quick update for everyone um, wondering about, yes, you can drive native, you don't need that dis display port, but right now, at least if you're a gamer or you have gaming monitors, there's some kind of issue. So uh, see you guys in the next video.